on everyone, Adam Alex here with PragmaticWays.com coming at you today with another debugging tutorial inside of Eclipse. In this video today, we're going to be learning about step filtering and what it means how we can filter out different external libraries or classes that we don't really want to step into or, or start debugging. So if you were following along from the last tutorial here, we saw that we were just stepping through a code and then we accidentally sort of stepped into the API here, the, the Java documentation for this print line method. And you know, clearly we know that this method's gonna work fine. We don't need to start debugging what's inside of the system.out.println method. So we would like a simple way to sort of filter out this method here. So we don't have to unnecessarily step into it when we're in debug mode. So let's see what this kind of looks like here uh, without the step filtering in case you weren't following along from the last video. So I'm gonna put a breakpoint on line eight here and just sort of accidentally step into this method here. So let's see what that kind of looks like. I'm gonna to go to run and then debug, enter in debug mode here. And then I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, step over this line. And now I'm gonna step into this line here. Let's say I accidentally tried stepping into this line here. Well, all of a sudden now I'm inside this print stream class and now I'm inside the print line method here and I'm debugging this method and I don't really wanna be inside of here. So I could instantly just uh, you know, do the step return and that would kick me right out. But let's say we didn't even want to, you know, if we accidentally pressed on the step into method here, we would like a way that it doesn't even take us in here in the first place. And we can do that with step filtering. So if you were on a PC, you will go to window and then preferences. Preferences will be right down here from your window option on the main toolbar. But I'm on a Mac, so mine is gonna be under Eclipse and then preferences. And either or, if you do window preferences on a PC or Eclipse preferences on a Mac, you'll be taken to the same box here, this preferences window. And then we're gonna to wanna to go to the Java, you know, drop down the Java menu here. We're gonna drop down the debug menu here. And then we're gonna go into this step filtering method here. And all we're gonna do is check the use step filters and then make sure all are selected here. I mean, realistically, we're only interested in Java, but generally speaking, you're probably gonna to wanna to, uh, add all of these. And then you can also add other classes too, or other packages even. You can add your own external classes or your own internal classes if you wanted. And you can just filter out anything that you really want. But for this use case here, I'm just showing you the basics and I'm just gonna go ahead and select all and I'm going to click apply and close. And now if I rerun that debugging mode there, let's see what that looks like. And I will debug. And I'm gonna just step over this one and then I'm gonna try and step into this one. And we'll see that when I clicked on step into, it didn't actually go into this print stream class anymore. It, it filtered this out because I don't want to actually be inside of this class. It's an external class coming straight from the Java library. There's no point on me debugging this class here. So this is just a real easy way to filter out different external libraries that you have no purpose on really debugging. You can just filter them out from your debugger inside of Eclipse. So if you found this video helpful, please consider hitting that like button. Please consider subscribing so you can be notified when I come out with new content related around programming. If you haven't already checked it out, please check out my blog at www.pragmaticways.com. A link to that will be in the description below. And uh, follow along for the next video in Debugging Inside of Eclipse, where we're going to be going more into this Step Over button. And then we're going to dive a little bit more into Step Into and the Step Return and kind of figure out when, where, and how, and why we should be using any one of these different given buttons. So until next time, everyone, happy coding.